Right, so I'm lying underneath a VW Touring with air suspension and I've just changed out the uh, cylinder head on the air compressor pump as it was giving a stop running gear fault error in yellow on the display. Um, I ordered the head off of AliExpress for about 16 US dollars plus another 17 for shipping and to change it out is actually quite simple. We first uh, remove the cover, the panel cover which sits over here which is a bunch of torque screws and then to get to the pump we we'll remove one, one, two, three, 13 millimeter bolts then you can drop the pump down to work with then uh, don't mind that over there it was starting to chafe so I just put a bit of extra protection there these torques these two torques hold the cylinder head on you also need to loosen that torx which keeps the temperature sensor over there in it's just a there's a little o-ring on the inside that keeps it in so once you have that out put a bit of penetrating oil in there bit of penetrating oil in there wiggle it and then it should come out that's the feed so you'll also have to loosen that to get that off and then that one and there's another on the other side that one over there two 10 millimeter nuts you can then get the head off once you have the head off it looks something like that that's the worn ball and there's an o-ring over here which I've transferred there's also an o-ring over here which I've transferred a little rubber grommet that goes in there with a spring and then another steel cap that goes on top of that but once you get to that you'll see it that's where the temperature sensor goes in and that's the bolt that holds it in that's the the pump outlet the pressure outlet which is that guy over there and if you see on the inside that's where it is over there the piston itself has a reed valve I think that's what you call it which is a one-way valve so it's a very easy to swap out and then you'll see on the this is the old piston ring which when measured is actually not that worn so it's actually the bore that's worn this bore's uh, diameter is about 0.8 of a millimeter more in diameter than the replacement and that makes all the difference with uh, the piston ring you'll, you'll see in the groove of the piston there's a little um, almost like a cotter pin sticking out and that's got to go into that groove not that uh, let's just get that in focus not that one there but that one there and then uh, yeah that slides over like that so yeah I've worked underneath the car but if you want to you can strip a bit more and take the pump out work on the bench I've done that before with another one but um, if you can work underneath the car it's not too bad especially if you can get the car jacked up if the pump is not too bad even though it gives the error it will still work it will still run um, so yeah it's basically as simple as that to change out the cylinder head start with that which is the outlet that's the holding bolt for the temperature sensor and that guy over there with that wire going in there that's the temperature sensor that goes in there so once you have that out you do the two the two torques that one and that one and the two nuts that one and the one on the other side and then you can take that out make sure there's no spring that's gonna there is a big spring on the inside make sure that doesn't jump out and then inside here is all the dryer pellets and then a big spring that sits between the head and this body with the dryer pellets there's a quite a big spring in there so when it comes out make sure you catch the spring and make sure that that there's a plate there that keeps the dryer pellets in make sure that doesn't fall out otherwise all the dryer pellets will fall out so yeah that's that if you have uh, any questions or comments uh, just ask in the in the comments down below and I'll see if I can answer um, if you liked the video and it helped you, 
uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.